Hey, welcome inside this episode of Zippity's Garage. In today's episode, we're headed down to Sioka Corvettes in Atlantic City to do some modifications to a friend's C8 Corvette. We're going to be installing the Scrape Armor C8 front radiator grill screens. So stick around. <laughs> Welcome inside Zippity's Garage. Allow me to introduce myself. If you're new here, my name is Jeff Zippity Doodah, and this YouTube channel is dedicated to the fun and games associated with being an automotive and Corvette enthusiast. So if that sounds something you like, please consider subscribing, smash that thumbs up uh, button if you like today's content. So like I said in that introduction, we're going to head down to uh, Atlantic City, down to the Corvette uh, Sioka Corvette and Sioka Cadillac Service Center, and we're going to be installing some scrape armor front radiator grill screens. I highly recommend this product for any C8 owner, whether or not you're picking up your brand new C8 or whether or not you're a current owner that does not have these installed. These really do help protect your front radiators on that C8 Corvette. But before we get into that content, I just want to take a minute or two here to go over some of the upcoming events. Like I said, this is a lifestyle channel and some of the upcoming events that are happening in the Delaware Valley. If you live in and around New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, please mark your calendars for Saturday, April 22nd. This is going to be the eighth installment of the Corvette Takeover. It's being hosted in Princeton, New Jersey, in conjunction with my friends Dave from Yellow Vet 04 and Scott from 512 Garage here on YouTube. This event was started a number of years ago with those two gentlemen. I've always kind of been involved with the event, but kind of in the background. But this year, coming more to the forefront, really trying to promote this event. We'll have... 300 plus Corvettes out at this event. And it's a really cool parking lot because it's underneath solar panels. It's a massive office complex and that office complex has solar panels installed. So we get to park all our Corvettes underneath these solar panels. We're gonna have food trucks out there. We're gonna have vendors out there. So please, more information on that event to come. But again, Saturday, April 22nd. Another really cool event that's coming up in this year, 2023, a little bit of breaking news here on the channel is the Sioka Corvette Toys for Tots Fun Run. The date on that event has been set and it is Saturday, September 16th. So a lot more to come on that event because we're looking to make that bigger and better. Uh, Sioka likes to continue to build on the momentum of that event that Kerbeck started all those years ago, and Sioka continues to build that tradition. So there's a lot more to come with regards to what that event is going to entail this year. But mark your calendars. Saturday, September 16th is the Sioka Toys for Tots Fun Run. Another event that I'm coordinating, and that is the 2024 National Corvette Caravan. I am the Atlantic captain for that area. If you're not sure what the Corvette Caravan is, go to CorvetteCaravan.com and select up in the top right-hand corner from the drop-down box. Choose your local region of the country and find your local captain for the state where you live. And that'll give you information on what that captain has in store for the Corvette Caravan. If your captain doesn't have any information up on posted on the website, shoot me a message or leave me a comment down here below. Heck, comment if you've been on the caravan before. Let me know what you think about it. And a segue to the caravan, I want to say a big thank you to my friend Ron from Boardwet Corvette Club. Uh, because talk about something really cool piece of memorabilia from the Corvette Museum. Ron was at the Corvette Museum when it opened back in September of 1994. And this was one of the posters that they had out on display there. So this is some of the memorabilia that Ron had in his collection. This now is in my collection. So thank you to Ron for, you know, maintaining this piece. And now it's a part of Zippity's garage collection. And not only that, but, you know, uh, my friend from Michael Brink from Brink of Speed, he does a bunch of watch parties like there on Wednesday nights and offers trivia. I got his trivia question right a couple weeks ago, and this was his prize. So a really cool set of jacking pucks for um, any C5, or I think it's C6, C7, C8. So those will get on the car here pretty soon. And then from AMT, um, I got a new piece of... Um, 
door guards, door sills, carbon fiber door sills that are gonna be covers that'll go onto the C7. So I gotta get these installed here in the next coming days. And then just a quick little bit of housekeeping with regards to my video. I mentioned the term RPO, which stands for regular production order when I'm speaking about the scrape armor piece. And I kind of misspoke a little bit. It's not necessarily an RPO, it is an LPO. And the differences there are, is the LPO is a part that is installed at your dealership, at your Chevrolet dealership. An RPO is something that ends up being installed down in Bowling Green, but the LPO still shows up on your window sticker. So, you know, from a warranty standpoint, the LPO is still a um, General Motors or Chevrolet related part. So when you hear me say RPO, I'm actually meaning an LPO when it comes to that scrape armor front radiator grill screens. So without any further ado, guys, let's head down to Atlantic City and check out the install down at Sioka Corvette, Sioka Cadillac. We are down at Sioka Cadillac in Atlantic City, New Jersey today, and we're gonna be doing some installs of the scrape armor radiator protection screens on my friend's C8 Corvette. So before we get into the scrape armor, we're gonna go inside of the dealership here and check out some of the cool cars that they have here at Sioka Cadillac. I'm just a regular car guy that likes to bring you out to car shows and different car themed events. I don't do a lot of how-to videos. This is the exception where we're down here with the folks from Sioka and Scrape Armor. So thank you to both of them for their sponsorship of this video. We're gonna go over the radiator screen install for the C8 Corvette. But in the meantime, let's take a walk inside the showroom because they got a pretty cool car in there. And then they got a really cool car that's getting ready for a customer delivery today. So let's get inside. All right, so we are inside the Cadillac showroom here at Sioka. And similar to what I do over at the Corvette inventory walk, here is a Cadillac walk. So this is the CT4 and this is the Blackwing version. So this is the big dog version of the CT4. It is up, done in the V, because uh, now they have a V, they have a V Sport, but then they have the V Blackwing. So this is the white car. Looks like it's got a gray and black wheel, um, and it's got an interior very similar to the 70th anniversary Corvette with the uh, you know the gray insert, the black, and the red piping. And this car happens to be an automatic. Um, and the window sticker here, it is available. 2023 V Series Blackwing. Sticker price is 74,680. The car is available. Options include the $4,900. Cool Sky Gray interior, 10-speed automatic, performance data recorder, driver assistance package, tech package, uh, aluminum wheels, uh, climate package, uh, seats, uh, red seat belts, which is pretty cool, black mirror covers. So really, really nice looking car. Um, you know, and like I said, this is kind of, here's your red seat belts. So this is the smaller of the two black wing sedans being the CT4 but it's got the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S uh, tires on this thing. Big, big calipers on it as well. Really a good looking car. Uh, motor wise, I don't know, let's see, it's a 3.6 twin turbo. Not sure the actual horsepower numbers, but I'll be sure to put that here as well. So let's take a walk out into the service area and check out the car that they have that's going out for a customer delivery. So we just shot that CT4 Blackwing. Now here's the big dog. This is the CT5 Blackwing. This car is sold, sold, sold. This is a customer ordered car getting ready for delivery. CT5, there's your V Blackwing. This is the big dog. This is the LT4 supercharged V8. And this one has in my opinion, the proper transmission. Manual transmission on this car. Absolutely beautiful color combination with the dark red, the bronze wheels, and the dark red caliper. Kind of looks like a red mist color. And they're calling this radiant red tint coat with regards to what it's called in the Cadillac world. Sticker price on this is 103,445, but an absolutely beautiful, Cadillac CT5 Blackwing. And like I said, I think this is gonna be the last time you see a manual transmission um, in a, uh, a full-size sedan 
with with um, like I said with that manual with the big honking V8. Go ahead, yeah, pop it if you would. So we got the service manager here. I don't want to. This is somebody's car, so I don't want to get into it. But he's going to pop the hood for me to take a look underneath. And this is how the customer wants to pick it up. He didn't want any dealer prep really done to the car. He's going to take it home, get it paint corrected, PPF it. But look at this big honking. And like I said, these car or motors are built by hand. And this is Kathy Walker. Kathy Walker was the one that built this particular motor. Hand built, absolutely gorgeous Cadillac down here at Sioka in Atlantic City. Lower. And then, yeah, you get the... Uh, the blower up top here. So again, and what's different is this one actually says Cadillac because it's in the Cadillac as opposed to what you would see on the C7 Corvette. So such a beautiful, beautiful car. Congratulations to the new owner. All right, so now I'm in the service area down here at Sioka Cadillac uh, Chevrolet in Atlantic City. We've got Dan here, one of uh, the master Hi, techs. And those that watch the channel will, will remember Dan. He did the C7 install for Scrape Armor on my 2019 Corvette down here at Sioka. So today, this is what Scrape Armor kind of was known for when they came into the market is these C8 radiator guards. And this is my friend Wayne's Corvette. This is, a, um, not sure the model year, I believe it's a 20. 22. To 22. Thank you, Dan. And what we're doing is this is the radiator screens that we're going to be installing behind here. So you can see these radiators, they are subjected to, you know, road debris and things of that nature. And this was a big Hubble blue when the C8 first came out because there were people, you know, worried about rock damage and things of this nature. And now this scrape armor is a regular RPO option that you can have dealer installed at your dealership even before you pick up your C8 Corvette. And I highly, highly recommend it because if these um, your radiator screens get damaged from road debris, that's considered an act of God and it is not covered by your Chevrolet warranty. So by all means, highly recommend the Scrape Armor if you're picking up your new Corvette from Sioka or any other dealership for that matter. It is an RPO that can be dealer installed. And if you currently own a CA Corvette, you can have this installed at your local dealership uh, post delivery. So I highly recommend it. And you can take a look at Wayne's radiator screen, uh, grills. You know, his screens are in good condition and by adding this scrape armor now as a GM approved accessory, they're gonna have a very nice long life. So with that said, Dan and I are gonna get this thing opened up and he's gonna take us through the installation process. But you can see how it's packaged really nice from scrape armor. So we're gonna go ahead and crack this thing open and we're gonna get it up on the car. So everything that's needed for the install right there, I was joking with Dan, I said, you've done a couple of these. And he laughed, he goes, yeah, you know, Sioka being, uh, you know, do doing a lot of these installs and you can do this right, like I said, right through them. Perfect. Flip up more of the, okay, so they're- That's the hardware stuff. That's the hardware. So they're taking full advantage of all the packaging here, uh, making everything work in the box These are the actual... so this is the actual screen itself so very it's not flimsy it is a very uh, trying to think of the word but it's got some girth to it um, so these things are not going to fall apart on you um, and they're similar but different to the screens that are on my C5Z06 which came with those front screens. These are black in color as opposed to like the silver or gray that came on the C5Z06. And then there's more parts as well. All um, your uh, cleaning and Got gotcha, you all the cleaning and, and grommets and, and so uh, forth. Grommets. Okay. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and get the install rolling here. So we got the car up in the air and Dan is now explaining what they do as far as the PDI, pre-delivery inspection, on a new car delivery. So the, part, the panel that he's removing now is actually installed at the dealership as part of the PDI process. So 
that's why it is highly recommended to do this before you take delivery of your car and have that scrape armor installed. So what he's removing is this panel here, you can see underneath the car, and just remove a bunch of the screws that are there and take a look. So yeah, it's just a Torx, head, uh, Torx screw, um, maybe a six or an eight, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, T15. T15, okay. And there's seven. A couple seven millimeters here, and then this panel is just gonna drop down and kind of give us exposure to the radiator. And that piece just pops right down, nice and simple. And like Dan was saying, this can be done at home, but you gotta obviously have a decent set of jack stands and uh, a good creeper, cause you're gonna be on your back a little bit get, having access to those parts. So now we're gonna move over here and let them start on the passenger side. And there's one pesky one up top there. <laughs> So that takes care of all the torque screws, and then we got a couple seven mils that have got to come out as well. And you can see those covers were back underneath of the spoiler here, so that these couple uh, torque screws here hold the spoiler or front splitter as well as that uh, protection panel in place. And you can see here what the radiator looks like. You know, this is has some miles on it probably about 4,000 miles on it but you can see the radiator does have a couple the fins a couple of them are, are bent and so forth but that's what this scrape armor uh, protection screens are going to help alleviate so dan grabbed the little tiny ratchet that was included with the uh, scrape armor set and what he's doing is he's coming up from underneath and removing a couple of the bolts that hold these uh, uh front body uh, Call it an air deflector, I guess you call it. I don't remember what they exactly call it. But again, that's the cool thing about the C8 is you can get this ordered in different colors, you know, whether you get it in carbon flash, body color, or even carbon fiber. So this is just showing you how he's removing this piece uh, from the vehicle. So it's coming up so underneath. That stays on the car. Okay, so that, get the screws. this, okay, gotcha. The screws are coming out from behind it and that other uh, allows him to get to the access where he needs to do the install. And again, what he was doing, what he was using is actually the little ratchet set that comes with the scrape armor set and a mechanic here at Sioka, he said he absolutely loves the tool and he's got a few hundred of them at this point. You see those screws, three of them that came off, just regular, it looks like an, again, seven mils there. And going over to the other side here. So now that we have both of those panels removed, we're pulling, uh, pulling the brackets out of the packaging. And you can see these are dedicated to the uh, sides of the vehicle. So you got a right side bracket and then you have a left side bracket. So we're starting with the right side bracket uh, is going in next. And reuse, what he's- Reuse your screws you just took out. So those three screws that we removed from the back side is what's getting reinstalled here. Again, and this is kind of done by feel um, because you're working from the back side of these components. So he slides that up underneath. that center one in he's putting that in by hand right now and you can see what it looks like here once that bracket gets installed as he gets uh, the rest of the screws put in Now he's gotten those in hand tight. Now he's tightening them down with the ratchet that was supplied with the scrape armor kit. Nothing like having that little tiny ratchet. I can see why that would be a usable. <laughs> uh, getting a full size ratchet back in there would not be easy to do. 
So there you go. So there's the right side. And you can see, if you look in close, you can see there's a couple holes here, here, and here that are going to be used for the mounting positions for the radiator screens. So there's the right sides done. Now he's going to come over and do it on the left side. So again, you're sliding that up from the bottom. And then just reinstalling those seven millimeter, three seven millimeter screws that you removed right in the back side of it. Now he's going to tighten those down. But again, to show you, like I said, this car has got about eh, four or 5,000 miles on it. And you can see some of the um, fins on the radiator do have a little bit of damage um, from the road debris. You can see across here, hopefully let the camera readjust to the lighting and so forth. And that's what these radiator screens are designed to prevent. Now we're going to go right over here. Here's a car that's getting PDI'd, brand new C8. You can see what these fins look like on this radiator. Absolutely perfect. And who knows, this car may be getting the scrape armor installed as well. Because again, this is going through PDI and the screws aren't even installed on this undercarriage just yet. So this car, pristine radiator, and that's what these grill screens are designed to help prevent. All right, now this... This is a little bit of a tricky one here to capture on film, but you can see there's a little sticker right here on both sides of the vehicle. That sticker has to come off because part of the scrape armor where you see it's got the 3M double-sided tape, you don't want to install that 3M double-sided tape onto this sticker. So that little sticker has got to be removed from both sides of the vehicle. So Dan's going to go ahead and do that now. For me, that would be the most challenging part. So you can see now the, the sticker is now removed and we'll clean that with a little alcohol and get that surface prepped for the 3M. And like I said, everything's included in the scrape armor kit, even the alcohol pads needed for cleaning that prep area. So that's uh, what Dan is doing now, just wiping that alcohol pad right where we, he removed that sticker to try and get uh, you know any sticker residue off of there, but then also to have a nice clean surface to install the 3M tape for the mounting bracket pieces. So also included in there from 3M is an adhesive promoter, so a little primer for, um, it's just one of those things you squeeze to kind of activate it, um, let the fluid come down, and then you're just rubbing that primer right where you're gonna be installing the 3M tape. So again, it's just another way to help with the adhesion of the 3M product. It all works together with the alcohol, this primer, and then the adhesive that's on the tape. Again, and that was included in the scrape armor kit. So again, these pieces are dedicated to the uh, sides of the vehicle, just like the brackets were. So these two pieces here that are gonna be installed, again, are dedicated right side and left side. So we're gonna go ahead and get those installed on the car over to the passenger side. It goes right in between. So we can see if we can get some light in here to see exactly where these things are going. And you can see right in between those two silver tabs is where he installed that new bracket. You can see the, uh, the hole um, is what you can see exposed there. Now he's getting ready to do the second little bracket. And again, you can see right where that went, right between those two gray or silver tabs is where that new bracket is installed. Side. So he's got the left side. Or the cutout for your foot switch. Awesome. Okay. So now the scrape armor is going up. Oh, 
Yep, little grommet. So you're just basically lining up the holes from here. And just push that little grommet right in in the center there. And then you're going to just continue to do so on the left and right. Okay, so he's got another little piece of the bracket that comes installed. He says he put, always does this as the last piece. And already... This is going to be hard to get on camera, but we're going to try and capture as much of it as we can. So you can see where that ended up going. He already had the um, grommet installed, and then it just goes to the right of that other silver piece there. And there you go. We're going to go over and capture it over here on the right side as well. Got that center section lined up. Push the grommet right through. You see where that one went? That went right in where we uh, added that little bracket earlier. And then he's got that last bracket to go in as well. Again, running the grommet through the bracket. And then installing it with the double face tape. And again, this one's done a lot by feel as it gets tight in that area. I heard a good little snap, see if we can get it on camera so you can see where those two grommets are. The one in the foreground is the one that we uh, installed before we put the grill on and then the one in the background there is the one that he put on after the grill guard was already slid up into place so you can see that there's two grommets down here on the lower end of it and then on the top side you've got one there on the left one there in the middle and one there on the right so now i've got some auxiliary lighting here you can see what this grill guard looks like once this thing's installed and quite frankly, it just blends right into the car and really gives it a nice little accent. Quite frankly, it kind of disappears as well. So it's colored black, just like the carbon flash material is around here. So again, it's gonna blend right into the car. Um, and again, gives it a nice little accent as well. So from there, it's just a matter of putting these uh, under tray uh, covers right back onto the vehicle. So let's get this thing buttoned up.
pretty cool. So that pretty much wraps up the install. So thank you to Dan and thank you to, again to Scrape Armor and to Sioka. But again, just take a closer look at what this thing looks like now that it's installed. Again, very taut. Um, it's not going to interfere with any airflow, but it's certainly going to protect from any big rock debris getting through there because initially this is what your exposure was. Now your exposure is much, much smaller uh, from any large debris getting through to those um, uh, radiator fins behind there. So Wayne's car is now protected by scrape armor and the C8 radiator grills. So thanks again, Dan. So here we are outside of Sioka at the Cadillac Service Center. You can see now Wayne's Corvette is now protected with the Scrape Armor C8 front radiator grills. Now Scrape Armor also offers additional protection that you can run on your under tray under here as well for the C8. I currently have that on my C7 Corvette and absolutely love it because it is absolutely doing exactly what it's designed to do. So thanks again to Sioka, thanks again to Scrape Armor, and check with your local dealership about having this dealer installed option prior to you taking delivery of your brand new C8. Or if you're a current C8 owner, you can have this added to your own C8 as well. Go to scrapearmor.com and talk to your local Chevy dealership about having the installation done or Give it a go and try it at home and follow along with the uh, video here and use the instructions that come with the kit. Any questions, drop me a line. Thanks for watching.